A Grand County man says the move to put Harriet Tubman on the front of the $20 bill. And he doesn't agree with it. Yeah, that's because he claims he has a connection to Jackson. News 3's Chris Gothner has the story. For Tom Worthington, seeing the $20 bill gives him pride because he claims through his mother, Lillian Martha Jackson, he has a special connection to our seventh president, Andrew Jackson, who's currently pictured on the front of the 20. According to what my mother had told me, I was the fifth nephew to the great uh, Andrew Jackson. But under the U.S. Treasury's new plan, Harriet Tubman will become the face of the 20, and Jackson will move to the back. Worthington says he feels this is disrespectful to the legacy of our presidents. The president should stay on the face of the bills to represent our nation. And he says taking Jackson off the face of the 20 would mean a loss of heritage. I hate to lose my fifth great uncle on that $20 bill. Worthington thinks putting Harriet Tubman on the $2 bill might be a better way to honor her without taking away from the legacy of Andrew Jackson. But Dr. Adrian Jones, a political science professor at UW Platteville, disagrees. She says Tubman is the perfect face for the 20. She is a clear example of someone whose life's work was committed to the ideals that our country was founded on freedom, equality, and liberty. And Jones says removing Jackson will start a conversation on his legacy, which she says is far from unblemished. Jackson's association with the Trail of Tears in particular is something that it's very important for people to learn about. Worthington says despite that, he still thinks his great uncle was a great man. There were some mistakes that he did make, but what president doesn't? Officials say Harriet Tubman isn't expected to be on the 20 until 2030. In Dickeyville, Chris Gothner, WISC News 3. And we should mention former presidential candidate Ben Carson also suggested putting Tubman on the $2 bill.